Rivers are one of our most precious sources of water and at Essex and Suffolk Water we've been working hard to forge partnerships to protect and enhance those river catchment areas in a variety of different ways. We hope this short film will just give you a little bit more flavour of the kind of things we've been doing. The aim of our catchment approach is to protect and improve the quality of the rivers from which we abstract water so that we can consistently provide our customers with water that's safe and wholesome to drink. We employ catchment advisors across our area and part of their role is to sample the rivers at various points across our catchments each week and this creates a strong evidence base to inform the delivery of the catchment advice that we give. All laboratories are accredited for testing the wide range of substances found in water, including pesticides, nitrates uh, and colour or dissolved carbon. The results of these analyses on samples of water from the rivers and reservoirs in our region are used by our catchment advisor to provide guidance to farmers and growers about how to reduce losses of these substances from their land. This is some of the equipment that we use to test for really low levels of pesticides in waters in our region. Our methods of testing have been designed to look for minute traces of colour and individual pesticides in the water. For example, we need to be able to detect pesticides at less than one part pesticide in 10 billion parts of water. The speed of turnaround of samples is also important as this enables our advisor to establish the link between pesticide use, recent rainfall and the levels that are found in our river and reservoir waters. As a water company, we work in partnership with other organisations and we run events and training sessions for farmers and their advisors on topics like nutrient management planning and machinery calibrations. And our catchment advisors also go out to farms and provide one-to-one -one advice on topics like pesticide handling. Pesticides can get lost from the filling process through inadvertent spills, drips from the machine. So it's important to capture those spills and make sure that they're not getting into the groundwater or watercourses. Spray filling area here, water comes in, into the uh, sump tank and then is filtered through the three stages of the biofilter. I work quite closely with Steve Derbyshire from Essex and Suffolk Water inside the Stir and Cone catchment. We go out to do one-to-one -one farm visits with farmers uh, and because we've got different uh, specialities we can do, give quite good all-around advice. Before we had this filling area, we were filling up in the other side of the farmyard um, and it was just a completely unsuitable area. It had been used for about 30 years and it was a, a piece of concrete where any water off the concrete was going onto a grassed area. It was just taking the step to go and do something better like we have now. Essex Suffolk Water have seen biobeds as the way forward in good practice for pesticide handling and we've funded this biobed and numerous others in our other catchments to promote that good practice. I look after the uh, trainee programme for um, our new graduates that come into the company and wish to become agronomists. Um, and for the last two or three years we've um, taken them down to the Barsham Waterworks, the, the treatment works there to show them how it works, what they do. It's a very costly business to try and remove contaminants. By doing all this catchment work, we're um, giving ourselves a chance to ensure that water quality within the rivers and the catchment is of the highest possible standard. If the water quality is of an excellent standard as it's extracted from the rivers, then that will reduce the costs within the water company for treating the water. And at longer term, there's a potential to pass these cost savings on to the customer. Hopefully that's shown you how some of our work is helping to protect water in the natural environment and how important these partnerships are to protecting water quality, not only now but in the future.